Well, it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there, including my own. And uh, leaving Fulton, Mississippi today is uh, just a quick run down to Columbus, I believe. The glamour of waiting for a lock to open. in the shade. You just learned uh, if you can find shade, that's all that matters. Even if you have to be by that. When you're just a jet ski and you're all alone in this big open lock, a well, closed lock, but it it gets a little spooky. There's all kinds of different little sounds and like water coming in. While I'm waiting here at Fulton Lock, I can kind of catch up on some stories from last night. It was Saturday night. But, uh, no, uh, Gina from the marina uh, was so kind after I went up and grabbed a quick uh, bite to eat at the restaurant on top of the hill. She took me to uh, my hotel, stayed at the Holiday Inn there, and, um, and then one of the workers came by, uh, Joanne, um, came by this morning and picked me up. So it's, uh, and, you know, I tried to offer him some something, and they're, no, 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 you know. They're just so friendly, so nice. Um, just that's amazing. People like that willing to do that, and I'm sure they do it, you know, so many times every day, every week. Um, it's just great people. So today's a short day running from Midway Marina down to Columbus Marina. And uh, it looks like it's 59 miles because I'm going to get both fuel and stop there for the night. And uh, just three more locks after this one. And hopefully do some laundry tonight. Well, I didn't post too much today. Uh, but uh, here I am at the Columbus Marina. Steve, uh, real cool guy here at the marina. And uh, came in uh, from the last lock and my uh, Garmin unit must have blew a fuse. So thank goodness for the two tablets. Uh, or the tablet and the Garmin and being able to uh, have a backup GPS unit was pretty helpful coming in Well, I had my first uh, Troubleshooting we'll just say that um, I, After the last lock my uh, my Garmin uh, GPS unit uh, that runs on the ski it um, It stopped working and so now that I'm here uh, at the marina and uh, had some time to look at it I uh, reached out to we'll just call him art from the internet uh, art uh, kind of used him as a sounding board and he walked me through some some different troubleshooting techniques and um, ended up being just a problem where it needed to be reseated um, and uh, and some connectors kind of tightened a little bit so huge shout out to art uh, he's a fellow fish pro owner and writer and so really appreciate him taking the time on Father's Day to uh, help me out and just kind of help troubleshoot with me. So time to put it all back together and head to the hotel. So as I'm here in the uh, marina, a couple of guys here, uh, Larry and Rick are both uh, loopers. I've done the loop and uh, they're here uh, basically doing some varnish work and uh, prepping their boats, making them look uh, 
sharp. But uh, Rick offered to take me into my hotel room, so getting ready to pack the bags and head on up. It was a good day today. Nice short ride. It's almost rejuvenating to have such a short ride, even though it got through four locks, that was good. But uh, here, here at uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, and uh, just wrapping up the night, doing some laundry, which is much needed. And uh, gonna get an early start. Rick's gonna pick me up at 5.45 tomorrow. So, gotta make 120 miles and three or four locks, I gotta look. But, have a good night.